So we talk a lot about old growth, but what does that term actually mean? The simplest definition is that in British Columbia, old growth is classified as being 250 years old in wet coastal areas like Vancouver Island in the lower mainland and 140 years old in the dry interior. But old growth is so much more than just its age. It's its structure and its ecology that really make these ancient ecosystems stand out against younger forests. So let's talk about it. Old growth forests contain a rich mix of ages, sizes, and species. So you'll find beautiful ancient massive trees like this cedar behind me, but you'll also find tons of young trees in old growth forests. And this is really important because these young trees will eventually replace the old ones. So they contain both living and dead trees like this log here. And this is really important for the ecosystem because these downed trees provide habitat to other community members and also nutrients as they decompose. Old growth has a rich understory, absolutely filled with different plant species from ferns to mosses to shrubs like these. And that's because they have a mixed layer canopy with different sizes so that the sun can break through and nourish the forest floor. It's this complex structure that makes old growth such biodiversity hotspots. That's why protecting old growth is so important. These ancient ecosystems support far more life than younger forests and are important ecologically, economically, and culturally to so many communities. Right now, only a tiny fraction of old growth with massive trees like these remains standing in British Columbia, and most is on the chopping block. Let's change that. Visit our website and take action today. It only takes 60 seconds to have your voice heard. Let's make sure these beautiful ecosystems remain standing for future generations.